Is it possible to grow vegetables without soil? What happens when the garden is being tended to by not, not a man but a crayfish? Will it be able to grow crops in a conventional aquarium? Hey you, we are lab rats. Welcome to our new experiment. First things first, let's prep the aquarium. Before you put there a pet, some preparations should be done. Wash little pebbles and put them at the bottom of the aquarium and spread them out. Next up, we should put some decorative plants inside. These ones are made of plastic. Later we'll explain why we didn't use real ones. In the middle of the aquarium, we put a stone that we've boiled prior to eliminate any bacteria and infections on it. Now let's pour pre-settled water in. As you can see, the water looks cloudy. Apparently, the stones were not completely rinsed out and there was some dirt remaining on them. But no worries, there is a fix for that. Next, we place an aquarium filter on the wall. Apart from filtration, it will enrich water with oxygen. And whilst the water is being filtered, let's get acquainted with the main character. It is an Australian red claw crayfish. He got his name because of red spots on claws. This kind of crayfish is very aggressive. I'll try to pick it up so that you can see it well, but at the same time, I'm not very keen on getting bitten. This specimen is avid to teach me a lesson. Our German Shepherd dog Erika came to meet the new inhabitant. She appears very curious but at the same time she's afraid of her nose getting grabbed by the blue crayfish. When it is young its length is about 15 centimeters but in nature they can be found up to 40 centimeters. It's time to put it in the aquarium. It has settled in much faster than our ants. It displays hostility towards the water filter. It's all because it is scared and trying to find a shelter. After a few minutes the crayfish has realized that it is pointless to look for shelter and went on discovery mode. Everything is new to it, but don't worry, it won't take long before it gets accustomed with its new habitat. As I said, these crayfish are very aggressive. It can kill any other crayfish that settles on its beloved territory. Even the fish won't have a chance in a fish with him. Therefore, it will be living and growing plants alone in this aquarium, and we will happily watch him do it. When relocating, the crayfish was going under quite a bit of stress, so today it is better not to feed it. The next day, the crayfish has got used to the environment a little, and does not climb on the walls of the aquarium and it seems ready to eat. We will feed it with special food. One piece of dry food is enough for him per day. Let's watch it eat. Although the food is very similar in its shape to the pebbles, crayfish easily found it. For eating, it uses special limbs near his mouth plus it helps itself a little with its feet. After eating, for some reason, it took a stone and began to lick it. If I may say so, the vegetables will be grown because the full cycle of crayfish digestion will provide them with all the necessary nutrients that will be derived from crayfish waste. And before you plant a garden here, some time must pass. Thus, water will contain more nutrients. Now, 12 days have passed. Crayfish is a little shy, but it looks like it's feeling great. Who of you has noticed something change in the aquarium? Crayfish has dragged plants and stones to where he likes them better. It has quite a complicated personality, but despite this, he made friends with Erica. Now they play together often. It's good that Erica's nose is protected from the claws with the glass. It's not a joke. Take a look for yourself. What is that green thing floating on the surface of the water? These are the pieces of plastic algae that the crayfish has cut off with its sharp claws. It's scary to imagine what it can do with real plants, let alone a nose. By the way, it's time to continue the experiment and set up a little garden of ours. 
Instead of the soil, we will use a coconut substrate. These are crushed coconut shell fibers. The substrate itself does not contain any nutrients. But for our experiment, it is perfect. The briquette of substrate has quickly increased in size from hot water and became loose. When it has cooled, you can put it in special cups with holes for the roots. Tightly press the substrate into improvised pots. In one of them, we will plant a radish seed, and in the other, a few dill seeds. We have chosen these crops, since they grow fast. Cover up the seeds a little, so that the cups float on the surface. We will make floats for them, from a heat insulation material that doesn't sink. Place the cups in the holes and put them in the aquarium. A small amount of substrate fell into the water, but no worries. What's important is that the cup can now float. Our crayfish does not seem to care, now that its garden is set up in its aquarium. It hasn't realized yet that it has just upgraded from a simplistic crayfish to a real farmer. We recommend keeping the lid on the aquarium so the crayfish doesn't run away. They can easily climb up the plastic algae and get out, but now it is more interested in what floats above it. Our crayfish tries to reach the cups, but it fails, at least for now. The tendril helps to touch and investigate an unknown object in the distance, and again, it tries to climb up the glass. Will it succeed in destroying the garden, or will we be able to grow vegetables? We will find out very soon. If you're also interested, like, subscribe and press the bell button so you don't miss the end of this experiment. See you in our new videos!